Bonjour, I'm Richard Nam, and welcome back to Bite of Paris. Today I'm at the Coma Lisbon in the 9th arrondissement near Galleries Lafayette. The Coma Lisbon is best known for its pastry, Pastel de Nata, which is the unofficial national pastry of Portugal. It's a little tartlet made with a puff pastry, and then it's filled with warm custard. And usually it's served warm with a dash of cinnamon on top with a strong cup of espresso. Doesn't that sound unbelievably delicious? I'm with Victor Silvera, who is the owner of Coma Lisbon and used to be the head baker. Uh, nice to see you. Thank you. Bon dia. Bon dia. Bon dia. Bon dia. Bon dia. It's about one of the few Portuguese words that I know. Uh, and I want to ask you, um, where are you from in Portugal? And how long have you lived in Paris? Well, I'm from uh, originally from the Azores Islands, mm -hmm. uh, which is really the Atlantic halfway between Europe and uh, and the United States. Okay. Um, but we immigrated to the United States to the Boston area, where there is a huge uh, Azorean population. Oh, really? Yeah, a very large population okay. um, because of the fishing industry sure, and the factory. Sure. So a lot of people uh -huh. immigrated in the '70s. Okay. And uh, so I was uh, went to high school and then university, mm -hmm. and then on to New York after that. Okay, great. I've been in Paris for nine years now. Okay, terrific. Terrific. I've been here 13. 13. And uh, I wanted to ask you, what are the origins of Patel de Nata? Pastel de Nata is a... Pastel de Nata. Pastel de Nata. Pastel de Nata is, as you were saying, pretty much the, the national cake. There we are. Uh, pretty much the, the national cake of Portugal. Okay. Because the origin of this cake, it dates to, we actually know the date, from to 1760. Wow. So it's a traditional cake, and the original ones were, the recipe was created by nuns mm -hmm. who worked at the monastery outside mm -hmm. of this, mm -hmm. the Jodhagamuj, right. and um, they would sort of use egg whites to mm -hmm. starch clothing, to, to clean because mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. way that it uh, would, was excellent for scrubbing, and so they had excess of egg yolks, which found their way into the kitchens. So that's and, um, how they made this custard. Made, yeah, yeah, yeah. A tradition of okay. a lot of uh, pastry based mm -hmm. on egg yolk, mm -hmm. and this is the most famous one. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. And now I've tasted many pastel de nata here and in, even in Portugal. I've never had one as good as yours. So what okay. is the secret, or the what, secret. what, or what, why is yours so special? The secret, I think, is really again start with a great recipe, which was mom's. Oh, your mother's. <laughs> My oh, mother's wow. recipe. Okay. And she used to make these, um, you know, as treats on Sundays, mm -hmm. or kind of thing. And then um, she started to be well known even in the Azores Forum, where the neighbors would start being like, "Oh, I have a baptism. Will you make some? Will you, <laughs> you know, the wedding is coming up. Will you make some?" As opposed yes. to going to the local right. pastry shop. Right. So uh, from a young age, I started, it was my first job, let's say, I would start helping oh, wow. uh, make them. Okay. I used to so love uh, the pastry. You so you were a young chef. I was a young <laughs> chef. I was young a pastry young maker, yeah. Okay. So um, I would help out for you know, a few ishkudos, as they were coming uh -huh. in, uh, on the side. So um, is that the, the original is that? And then I think it's just we really take great care and pride. We make one product. Mm -hmm. We make them as we go all day long, so okay. that they are ultra fresh. And mm -hmm. we pay attention to every detail, every okay. detail of the, the process. And made with love from your mother's exactly, recipe. Exactly. We have, to, we have to, of course, stay stay true to mom's recipe. Okay. Terrific. Terrific. And I have one more question for you. Sure. Um, I see you have some a lot of um, Portuguese products here uh, in the shop. Just tell me a little bit about sure. what, what you uh, sure. have also, here. What we did. Sorry. Um, it's okay. We represented. We wanted to take a, a selection of, of the best of Portugal. Let's say gourmet mm -hmm. products for which Portugal is known. Mm. Um, as you see, a lot of the cannery, the tin uh, mm -hmm. products, which is something that actually uh, in Europe is a gourmet product. Americans mm. don't, I think, equate it yet with the, the quality there. So, and uh, those are sardines, right? There's sardines, uh, yeah. there's octopus, there's mackerel. Okay, I'm ready to have my pastel de nata, and I'm just going to put a little bit of cinnamon on top. Et voila. That very flaky pastry, very crunchy too, and that amazing custard inside, so velvety and so je ne sais quoi. <laughs> Just a little bit of coffee too. Oh, fantastic. Thanks for joining me at Coma Lisbon today, and I'll see you next time. Coma Lisbon has another shop in the Marais and also a restaurant next door, Tosca, which serves modern Portuguese cuisine. 
Kumbale's Bowen is also a stop on my fun food tours, so if you'd like to book a tour, please go to IPreferParisTours.com.